Hi there, today we are going to create this umbrella rig in Blender. Before the rigging part, I want to create a video on modeling of this umbrella. Let me show you the topology of this umbrella because topology is most important during rigging. Otherwise, it will cause some glitches, you know. So this is how I created this and I am also going to explain step by step. Create the new project, delete all of them. I'm going to front mode by pressing one on numpad and press shift A, create a circle circle of 16 points you can use any reference if you want uh, to do so you have to go in shift a and go into image and reference and you can select the image uh, from google or any website you have of umbrella but i am not using that you can also work along with me so go into edit mode make sure these are 16 vertices and go into front mode press a and select all sg and z to move it along the z axis and on what here and press s to scale it down yes press e z and s to scale it and maybe make it a little bit upwards maybe scale it more around what here e to extrude z and scale one more time e z scale Select this part and go into shift E and Z and make it scale it down and scale it more. I'm gonna watch here and press E and Z to make a you knob structure that is above the umbrella and scale it down to give it the taper effect. I'm gonna watch here and go into face and grid fill. Change the offset to round much here. Yeah, this is good. No. Offset to two. So start here. And if we're going to subdivide it, you can also change the position of the vertices to make it uh, look like an umbrella. I think now it's good. I will save it with name umbrella tutorial. Now we have to create the edges uh, that we have in an umbrella and as you can see in any reference of umbrella there are eight edges of an umbrella which bend to close or open umbrella we will create a edge loop here it's right here you can create an edge loop by pressing ctrl and r go into front mode to create edges you have to add edge loops move towards them but you can see if I move as it is, it will cause merging of the vertices. We don't want it. So press Ctrl Z and again create an edge loop. Press C and deselect these upper vertices by press C and click the middle mouse button. It will de automatically deselect. So press right click and after that go into solid mode and press G twice and drag it towards the edge. Uh, after that you can deselect this one and this and uh, now make it more closer and same on the other side go into wireframe mode see middle mouse button it will deselect the solid mode and after that gg deselect this one too otherwise they will merge You have to repeat that process after one edge loop like if we have created two edge loop around this edge we have to leave this one because this will be the middle one and create another edge loop right here and press g twice down but here deselect upper vertices now for the same for the other side So after creating these edge loops, uh, now if we go to solid mode, you can see 
there are eight edges on but here after that we have to create shaft of the umbrella go into edit mode hold alt and press right click this will select the edge loop press shift t duplicate it press p and make its selection so it's now a separate object and we select it differently press tab press a to select all and s to scale it down and press one to go into front mode and scale it down yeah let's go now extrude it and press z to here maybe it's good and going to solid mode and after that we have to make the hook so to do so we will choose the spin tool and go into y axis to rotate this we have to choose a region for spinning and maybe we can select that and if we now rotate it it will look something like this so it's big one so you can change these values like uh, maybe 12 or good and angle as you can see you can change the center so it will control the size of the soup and maybe yeah right here uh, it's a good number May, i guess uh, it's good here if i rotate it a little bit more yeah it's good right here it's a separate object and it's also separate object it's easy to create separate because if we join them together it will cause some issues during digging and now we have to create the runner that we use to control the closing and opening of this rib cage to do so go into edit mode press 3 and select this edge and shift t and press p to make it different object and go into object mode select this object and go tab and select all and sc to make it smaller uh, right here i guess you can change uh, the position of it uh, later because when we dig, we will change the position i guess it's uh, good right here yeah it's good so alt e and extrude along normal and shift z you have to create an edge loop right here S shift Z yeah S shift Z create an edge loop here and control press P uh, right here select these uh, two edge loops control B and Alt E and extrude along normals so it's for gripping as you can see this is runner uh, you can change the size of it maybe a down little bit uh, yeah it's good now so this is the runner part so before uh, we create the structures right here and we will add that after we add bone sweet okay and it will be better if we add them after that so we'll see you in the next video which will be rigging part of this umbrella thank you hope you enjoyed the video and have a good day